What's going on, everybody? My name is Bendy, and there's new patch notes on the forums that I need to check out because I haven't looked yet because I was saving it for this little reaction. Um, I know there's a couple new heroes. Um, I don't recognize either of them. I saw the pictures, um, so I don't know. And I heard there was something with Invasion, but other than that, I know absolutely nothing about what the update is, so this is going to be all new to me. So let's just get right on into it because uh, I'm very excited. So we're just going to go right on over to the forums. This time I'm actually going to look at both because I realized there is uh, two things. Oh yeah, I forgot the server merge. So if you're in server 14 and 16, you guys are going to be getting a merge. It looks like it's going to be the end of March. So they give you a good like month head start. I was just a part of the merge uh, for server one and nine. So I kind of have um, a little bit of experience with merges now. If you have any kind of questions or concerns, you can definitely just throw it in the comments. I will definitely answer any question I can about the merge. Probably the most confusing thing about the merges is um, if you have two accounts on both 14 and 16 there is a way that you can um, merge the two accounts into one so you can just have one main account I know there was a lot of complications that people had with it so you can definitely ask support if you have any concerns about that all you can transfer over I believe is items I believe you can transfer badges I feel like they say it somewhere yeah account consolidation yeah so you just submit a ticket to support with the account IDs. Yeah, so these are the things that can be transferred. XP drinks, gold, diamonds, and monthly diamond days. VIP rings, raid tickets, shop tokens, heist tickets, guild coins, a whole bunch of items. All mods can be transferred. Diamond crate upgrades, so that was uh, the thing that I mentioned in my gold video, the level for your diamond crate. The only things that you cannot transfer are heroes, all badges and memory discs and all that can equip to your heroes, as well as uh, pretty much any game mode related thing. Keep in mind you cannot transfer the banked stamina that you have in the game. This is not the 60 stamina items that you can have in your that you have in your items. This is just the stamina that is banked on like the top of your screen where it says like such and such out of say like a thousand stamina per day. That's just that. So you can't transfer that. So make sure right before you uh, consolidate your accounts that you do that. Um, other than that, it's really not that bad as far as I know. I know some people had some issues with it, but just definitely get in touch with support if you have any questions about that. And if you have any um, just questions in general about merge, definitely um, don't be afraid to ask me or uh, somebody else from server 1-9. I'm sure somebody out there will definitely answer some of your questions that you might have. Um, but yeah, so that's that. But let's take a look at the actual uh, stuff. Uh, so let's start with the sign-in heroes. So we got Rocketeer. Everyone's been talking about Rocketeer lately. I didn't know that's what he looked like. He looks kind of ugly, not gonna lie. Everyone's been super hyped about Rocketeer. I don't know, I've never heard of him before. Uh, but he's the March sign-in, so he's gonna be what you get um, from doing your, uh, from signing in every day. Um, so let's check out his skills. His white skill. It looks like he launches himself into the air, knocking back enemies and then lands next to the furthest enemy, dealing damage to um, the back row. So that's kind of cool. So he's going to be launching himself to the back of the battlefield and then um, fighting them. So that's kind of similar to Aladdin in a way, because Aladdin kind of does that. So that's kind of cool. I wonder if he's going to have um, pretty high defense or if he's just more of a glass cannon. Because if he's kind of a glass cannon, then he might suck and just be killed immediately as soon as he has, uses his white skill. So who knows? Um, so anyway, his green skill. He uses a rocket punch uh, against the closest enemy, dealing damage and knocking them back. So I imagine uh, this would be like a combo with his white skill. So if he's in the back row, he's just going to be um, using his green skill on the back row people. So that's kind of cool. Um, quick fix is blue skill. When the Rocketeer reaches a percent of his max HP, he launches into the air and reshoots into his allies' backline. Instead of a basic attack, he fixes his rocket pack, healing himself until he reaches max HP, or uses launch forth. Launch forth is his white skill. Okay. I didn't actually read that myself. So his blue skill kind of just puts him back with his teammates. So that's kind of cool, I guess. But he kind of becomes a sitting duck at that point. Rocket up. When Rocketeer uses Launch Forth, his white skill, the cooldown on Rocket Punch is reset to zero. Rocket Punch also knocks back and deals um, damage to nearby enemies. Isn't that what it does anyways? Okay, whatever. I don't know what that means. Okay, so he's going to be able to get off his green skill pretty much constantly in that case. That's kind of cool. Um, energy boost. If the Rocketeer is fully healed by Quick Fix, he gains energy. 
Uh, the Rocketeer gains stacks of Hardy and heals when he uses Launch Force. Okay. He does seem kind of interesting. Um, he's definitely going to be a, uh, a back row killer, so if you have um, issues with people like Ian, a lot of the supports um, stand in the back. Uh, so this might be a pretty good counter, especially for um, Ian, maybe Kermit, or Fear, or something like that. Alright, so who do we got for the shops? So this is for everybody. Uh, so Ham is going to be in the VIP crates now, so that's kind of cool. Uh, honey Lemon's going to be in guild crates. Yes, that's what I want. I need Honey Lemon Chips. I only have her at four stars right now. Clawhauser will be in the City Watch shop. Nice. Um, I haven't worked on Clawhauser yet, but um, I know a lot of people are, so that's kind of cool. He's going to be pretty um, available now. Uh, Kronk will be in the Creep Surge. Cool. I'm probably not going to work on Kronk anytime soon. So King Louie is going to be in Arena Shop. Nice. My King Louie, um, if you don't know, is number one for me. So I always need his chips for red skill and stuff. So that's great for me. Angel is going to be in the Coliseum Shop. Nice. Uh, similar. Angel's one of my top people. So I definitely need her chips all the time. Uh, Shan Yu is going to be in the Heist Shop. I don't have Shan Yu, but I kind of want to work on him because I know he's really good. And Pleakley will be in the Guild War Shop. So I, uh, that, I'm pretty happy with all these uh, moves in the shop. I'm, I need most of them. So let's go to the actual update. Rocketeer seems kind of cool. I think he's going to be a pretty decent counter for anybody that stands in the back row. So like I said, it could be like Ian supports um, like Kermit or Fear. Pleakley stands in back, so he might be a pretty good counter for Pleakley also. So this could be an answer for study in a way. Uh, I don't know if... Yeah, it doesn't say whether um, he's a fantastic or a normal damage dealer. I'm assuming he's going to be normal damage. Uh, it just sounds like his attacks are all normal damage. But yeah, that's the Rocketeer. Um, he's kind of ugly, not going to lie. I don't know who he is. Oh, he's from Rocketeer. What the hell is Rocketeer? I've never heard of that before. Maybe I'm just too young. <laughs> I've literally never even heard of Rocketeer before, but okay. Um, all right, so we got the actual patch notes now. Welcome to Disney Heroes, blah, blah, blah. So we now have Mr. Big and Koslov from Zootopia. Uh, so another Zootopia character. And ooh, they're adding an Inside Out collection. Yes! I've been wanting a new collection so bad, dude. Um, oh, they're adding um, Invasion difficulty scaling. That's cool. I kind of wanted that. Um, so, Mr. Big and Koslov. I saw Zootopia, but I don't remember this dude from the, the movie. But yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, he's a control hero. Uh, he's going to be in diamond crates, so he's going to be um, kind of hidden behind the money wall. But I guess diamond crates are pretty easy to obtain um, the heroes for, so it might not be too bad. So, his white skill. Mr. Big gives the signal to ice all enemies, scaring and then- Ooh, it's another freeze, dude! Aw, oh, dude. I'm all about freeze. If enemies are already frozen, Mr. Beal, Mr. Big deals damage to them. Uh, polar Punch. Oh, so he's a polar bear. Got it. That makes sense. Uh, Koslov shields uh, Mr. Big, granting them a shield and stacks of hardy. Uh, Koslov then throws a punch at nearby enemies, dealing damage to them. Mr. Big also gains armor per frozen enemy he damages. Ooh, I feel like I'm gonna like this dude. This, uh, they seem really good already. Alright, Mr. Big calls in a limo to take care of the furthest uh, backline enemy. The limo picks up the frozen and after a few seconds they return to battle frozen and take damage per second while frozen. This freeze will not end until frozen enemy is below a percent of their max HP. Wow, that's kind of crazy. When an enemy, enemy is scared while frozen, the remaining duration of the freeze is increased. Oh man, I think these guys are going to be ridiculous. I can already tell. They're going to be so annoying to deal with. Alright, and then the red skill. Mr. Big gains armor whenever the damage he damages a frozen enemy with his basic attack up to a maximum. Enemies are frozen by polar freeze longer if they are above a percent of their max HP. So he's going to be getting a lot more defensive as the fight goes on. I'm assuming the armor stays for the whole wave also. That's kind of cool. Alright, so we got the friendships um, with Baloo and Judy. Huh, Judy. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense because uh, Zootopia. Alright, so they sound really cool. I think I might work on them. Maybe not right away, but uh, due to the changes outlined below, Invasion will not start until after the 2.7 update. Uh, Alright, so that's going to be um, Invasion starts on Tuesday rather than Monday. 
All right, whatever. I'm cool with that, I guess. Uh, the game's gonna be kind of boring on Monday, but because I think the game's kind of boring <laughs> without invasion, because invasion is just something to do all day uh, on the weekdays. Um, invasion enemies will no longer be set to the maximum rank available on the server by default. Okay. Invasion now automatically scales the rank of your enemies based on your account's team level. Cool. Um, I'm cool with that. Um, I know a lot of, uh, especially newer players, like right when Invasion unlocks, they have a ton of trouble with Invasion that makes Invasion pretty much impossible for them. So this is really good to see for uh, you guys that are like um, team level like 60 to like 100, because um, you guys were especially um, kind of screwed in Invasion because you really couldn't do a whole lot. So I hope this makes it so you guys can actually participate. Uh, so starting at team level 70, invasion enemies go up one rank every five team levels. Cool, that works. Um, so this is probably not going to affect me very much, but um, it hopefully will allow uh, you lower team level players uh, to participate in invasion a little bit more. So that's kind of cool. I like to see that. Uh, your invasion, your available invasion reward tiers will not be affected by your account's team level. Um, the rank of your enemies is set at the beginning of an invasion and will never increase during an active invasion. Okay, that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, rank and level both play a factor in how difficult an enemy is and how many invasion points are gained from defeating them. Okay, so you're probably going to get less points if you're a lower level player. Um, that's what I think this means. But you'll be able to participate, so you might be able to have some more fun with invasion. Higher ranked enemies have higher base invasion point rewards and will generally award more points than lower ranked enemies. Bosses found by your guild will continue to be the max rank. Okay, so that's a pretty cool point. So the guild bot is going to be still based on the max level of your server. So um, your guild bot might be weaker for you, but just keep in mind that the guild bot is going to be way stronger for you if you're a newer player. So it might be better for you to just work on your own bot if you're a lower level player at this point. Um, adjustments have been made to the boss battles screen to account for these changes and to better communicate your personal progress on individual bosses. All right, um, that sounds just like a, a little thing. Uh, boss portrait borders are colored to reflect their rank. Okay, that makes sense. Um, invasion point value for each boss's helper quest can be found under their portrait. Um, you'll now see a 10% icon in the upper right corner to let you know that you've completed that boss's 10% damage. Nice, that's cool to see, I like that. Um, if you don't know, when you get 10% um, of the damage on a bot, you get a lot more points, and, or a lot more invasion points, I should say. So that's kind of cool. This icon will glow if you've currently dealt the most damage to the boss. Okay, I like it. Um, we're excited to make these changes. All right. Cool. Those uh, I like those changes. If you're already a high level player at um, max team level, this change is probably not going to affect you at all. But um, if you're level like say 60 to 100, you're probably going to notice a huge difference, and uh, you might actually be able to participate in invasion now, which is awesome. I love that. So I'm cool with this invasion change. Um, I'm actually pretty excited about this little 10%. <laughs> Uh, I think that's kind of cool. And yeah, that's about it for Invasion. That's kind of cool. I like that. Hero updates and bug fixes. We have two changes to Wasabi. Um, we've added a limit to the bonus true damage from the disc. So that means he's probably not going to be as good for Invasion anymore. Because if you don't know, uh, Wasabi has just been absolutely destroying the Invasion rankings ever since he came out. Um, so he's probably getting a big nerf. So he's not going to be as useful in Invasion anymore. The bonus damage was being calculated based on max HP of one enemy hit and then applied to all enemies hit, it would calculate, okay, whatever. I fixed a bug where Bo Peep could block projectiles while frozen, whatever. I fixed an issue with Ham's red skill, not moving him to the back line. Uh, fixed an issue where uh, Madame Mim's disc magical ride would not stun Tron when he used his white skill. All right, cool, I guess. I fixed a bug where a charmed manticore would choose an ally as her favorite enemy and keep attacking it even after the charm ended. Fixed a bug with Pleakley's red skill where mosquitoes could still be added to a studied enemy even after he was KO'd. These are all pretty basic stuff. Um, I haven't noticed any of these other than obviously Wasabi making him ridiculous for invasion. The rest of these probably aren't even something that you noticed unless you just happen to have these heroes. Uh, fixed a bug where Joomba throwing a potion at an ally would cause him to be charmed by Baloo's white skill. Oh right, I remember there was a lot of Baloo issues. So maybe, uh, although I don't see Baloo mentioned anywhere. Fix an issue where damage done to some shrunk enemies would be reduced to one. 
All right, so, ooh, I'm excited about this. Uh, we added a confirmation pop-up when a player attacks a cleared district in Surge. Okay, whatever. Uh, communicating that battling district will still give out rewards, but will not contribute to clearing the region. Um, invasion supply guild give message can no longer be claimed if there is no active invasion. Isn't that how it was before? Or does that mean that we can't save the invasion guild gifts anymore for the next invasion? Because usually that's what we do in the top guilds. Uh, okay, so I guess there's just uh, this is just like a failsafe thing. Okay, whatever. Uh, we made some small improvements to the music. Okay. Man, there's, uh, there's quite a lot here. Oh, this is the cap raise update. Damn it. All right, this is a uh, cap raise. We're going to red 19, unfortunately. Leak campaign for chapter 40 is going to be Li Shang, Bell, Ian, Amelia, Kermit, and Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Cool, I can do, uh, I like Kermit and Ian being in there. Other than that, I don't work, I don't use any of the other ones. Mr. Big will be in Diamond Crates, and Kermit will be in Elite Campaign. Uh, for server 13, uh, you guys are going to 225 and red 18. I think this means that you guys are going to open the hub map area if it hasn't already for you guys. Um, it's going to be the exact same elite campaign for you guys. Uh, server 14, you guys are going to 210 and red 15. Um, and it looks like it's going to be exactly the same for you guys as well. Uh, server 16, you guys are going to 210. Oh, you guys are skipping 10 levels? Oh, you know what? It's probably to match you guys with uh, 14 for the merge. I'm guessing that's why. That sucks for you guys, though. Damn. Wow. And you guys are unlocking two chapters. Oh, man. That that kind of sucks for you guys if you're in server 16. But I guess I get it. If you're going to be merging with server 14, you need to be at the same level cap. But yeah. Um, so that's pretty big if you're in server 16. You guys are going up 10 levels and you're unlocking two chapters. So you guys are gonna be getting um, Gerald, Tigger, Kristoff, Mushu, uh, Mulan, and Syndrome, and Davy Jones in Elite Campaign, as well as the same ones as the other people. Uh, server 18, you guys are going to 195, and you guys are getting the same as the other ones. Um, 19, you guys are going to 180. Uh, you guys are getting Timon, Timon, Animal, Scrooge, Bell, Ian, and Kermit, and Lock and Jock and Barrel, obviously. But, uh, so if you don't have Timon worked on, I definitely recommend working on him. He's definitely one of the best supports in the game. Uh, and then server 21 to 24, you guys are going to 170. And you guys are going to be getting um, Timon, Animal, Scrooge, Bell, Ian, Lock, Shock, and Barrel, and Kermit. Same thing as up here. Uh, definitely recommend working on Timon if you don't have him yet. It's just a thing. Um, yeah, so I think that's all the updates. Uh, this is definitely a pretty big update. I can, uh, I can dig it. Um, I'm a pretty big fan of this invasion update. Um, if you're a lower team level player, uh, this is just going to allow you to be able to actually participate in Invasion. So, awesome. I love that. Um, if you're a already at max level for whatever your server is, I don't think this is going to affect you at all. So, I think Invasion is just going to be the same for us. I'm definitely a pretty big fan of Mr. Big. I don't know how I feel about Rocketeer. But yeah, that's going to be it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe, comment. You know the deal. If you guys have any questions about the server merge, if you're on server 14 and 16, definitely uh, hit me up somehow if you have any kind of concerns. Other than that, that's going to be it. Um, peace. Oh my brother, these nice ass glasses. Let's get the fuck out of here.